What's going on, y'all? Jimmy McNamara. Welcome to season one, episode nine of Rome. Now, last we saw Caesar and Cleopatra had a baby after Caesar rescued, I guess would be the proper word, her from her captors, including her. I don't want to say he was a captor. Her younger brother's advisors. They were really her captors. Um. Let's get to it. Fuck! He was pretty much telling you from jump he wanted to die. Elephants need rest, and I could use some sleep, and etc, etc, etc. Hilarious. <laughs> Damn. Never liked him. Piece of garbage. But he, he, somebody who stands up for what they believe in until the end, you gotta respect somebody like that. Fucking my mother. <laughs> Always will have me. That would explain your excessive familiarity. Excuse me. It's all right. I was merely curious, and you're correct. It does feel good to be home. Don't want to like them, but I kind of do. I just kind of do. Desert, with the walls of Thapsus at our backs. And your father was just here. I wonder if Octavia picked up on that. Coming towards us in the plain. You love it. Legions, cavalry, and nine elephants see us come running and screaming, and they turn tail and charge on their own lines. Boom! Chaos! Oh, don't cry. It was just a game. <laughs> you must be How can I do that? It's a secret. You must find it out. This is the weapon I seek. With the gods' help, I can destroy it. Please don't talk this way. Would you rather I lied to you? I would rather that you think of something other than the destruction of my uncle. I have never lied to you. He still has some terrible hold over me. I wish it were not so. But he will not let go. Will you ask your brother? that make you happy? Yes, it would. What do you care if Caesar has an affliction? <laughs> I don't care the slightest bit. Only that it would be a terrible secret and something worth hearing. And I doubt very much that you have any terrible secrets of your own worth telling. You'd be wrong. No, please, like what? Bravo, I suppose. You asked for a terrible secret. How about that? How about that? If he does not do this, I will come here and kill him. But before he dies, he will see his wife and daughters raped. And then I will burn down this building. Hold. You've said your piece? I have. Then leave now. Good night, you. Pulo is a fucking, fucking soldier. What do you mean? A young man will tell his lover anything. You can't be serious. How can you? I can't. Where are you going? Home. Don't go. Your mother killed Glabius. My people caught one of the men that did it. One of Timon's men. I'm sorry. You trying to fuck your brother to get a secret? Jesus Christ! 
different time, but I understand. I fucking still, Jesus. Caesar needs to step in. Remember, he's protected by the gods or some shit. He does what Caesar thinks. Here comes the consul Gaius Julius Caesar, son of Venus, Imperator of the Gallic Legions. I will not rest until Rome is as it was in the Golden Age. I cannot succeed alone. Will you join me? Yes, motherfucker. Take what you want. Rutherford, tell me something. Oh. What do you mean, oh? Now comes the price. <laughs> What do you mean? You're a virtuous woman, so you must know that seducing your own brother is wrong. You and I are above such petty social convention. But incest is not merely wrong by convention. It's wrong in essence. It must be else. Why so many idiots and monsters among the children of incest? Don't. Don't worry. It's unlikely I've seeded you. Not with the moon in transit. The point is, you're not the woman to do such wrong out of mere lust. Edgar, you must have another purpose. I suspect you shall renew your strange interest in Caesar's health. <laughs> oh. Calm down, Mother, really. Calm down, I've not even begun to get angry! <laughs> Enough! I am your son, but not your child. You will not strike me anymore. Will I not? <laughs> your sister, you little pervert! Don't tell me- Move! Move! Bow! Another solid episode of Rome, um, though I did start to, uh, I'm not sure what the word for it is, start to realize just how fucking bleak things are. Outside of Varanus and Pulo, there really isn't anybody I can root for in good conscience. I mean, I could root for Caesar, but I know how that turns out, so... Um, I just root for him in like birds, spurts, little battles along the way. But Octavia, she's in a rough spot, but it's of your own doing. Like, man up, woman up. Octavius, first of all, you slept with your First of all, you tried. Octavius slept with her brother, seduced her brother. They didn't really even seduce him. She fucking said, let's do it. And he was like, I wanted to. I'll let you believe that you're seducing me, even though you're not. I'm doing this because that's what I want. And then fucking, I'm still not going to tell you what you want to know. So, it's like they both just made me go, ugh, on the inside. We all know about the mom. <laughs> Jesus. 
It was awful. Sevilla got her comeuppance, at least some of it. She hates Caesar, who fucking will never give up this fucking dictatorship. Dreadful. Three more episodes to go. Let's get to it. Post your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe. Did he forget the names just like Steve Harvey? Dude. Tell Adidas that we need a million in production. Dude. I done told y'all all I needed was the infrastructure. Dude. Now we hide us in the streets, it ain't no discussion. James Harden, Swaggy P running up the budget.